Jesus. We are continuing with our Bible study. Uh, concerning our subject, they asked many questions. Some question was asked. And uh, we will try by the grace of God mm, to summarize all those questions and give uh, an appropriate answer. Uh, we suppose normally to continue throughout the week, uh, but we have some uh, hindrances. Thank God today uh, we are continuing with what uh, we have started. Mm, one question is uh, in Hebrew, Hebrew 10, from 20, verse 26, uh, upward, downward, sorry. Uh, Hebrew 10, from verse 26, we're going to read it, because there are many confusion about uh, that uh, scripture, all those scriptures. Hebrew 10, from verse 26, for if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there is no longer remains a sacrifice for sins. But a certain fearful expectation of judgment and the fiery indignation which devour the adversaries. 28. Anyone who has rejected Moses' law dies without uh, mercy on the testimony of two or three witnesses. Of how much worse punishment do you suppose will he be through worthy who has trampled the Son of God underfoot, counted the blood of the covenant, the covenant by which he was sanctified the common things and insulted the spirit of grace? For we know he who said, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord, and again the Lord will judge his people. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hand of the living God. Uh, first, let me tell you, about this, there is one teaching on YouTube. Uh, it has been launched last week. It, the preaching for uh, teaching for twenty, if uh, uh, I can remember, twenty eighteen, when uh, we spoke about uh, the judgment of God uh, upon the ungodly. No. When God is talking about the law, is to those the law have been given. We have uh, under the law of Moses uh, some sacrifice, the sacrifices which could not uh, remove the sinful nature in. Uh, Comparison to the sacrifice of cross. The sacrifice of his body. Which made us perfect in Christ Jesus once for all. As we said... To understand well that question, 
we're going to speak about the mixed multitude who was following Israel from Egypt. They were not uh, Israelites, they were Egyptians. They were following wonders, signs and the miracle performed by the God of Israel. And uh, they take a part uh, on that journey, but all died uh, in the desert. Let me read the number. I will come to Hebrew 10. Let me, before I can even talk about the mixed multitude, God is talking about those who rejected Jesus, who trample down the blood of the covenant who refuse deliberately to accommodate Jesus as the Lord and the Savior. Because only the sacrifice of Christ could reconcile God the people with the God. When you reject it, there is no another sacrifice who can perfect you, who can make you holy, who can make you saint. First John chapter 2, verse 18 and 19, talking about those who were among us. But they went out. They seem to be our people, but they are not. That's why they went out. Those multitude, or the, or the multitude who came out of God the people, they were they, 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 they saw miracles, signs and the wonders. They hurt the man in the desert. They drank also the water from the rock, but they were not God the people. They were among them, and the, 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 the one who was stirring up Avok, troubled. You will read it in number 11, verse 1 up to 6. Number 11, verse 1 up to 6. Exodus 12, verse 38. There are the people who even told Israel, no, we must appoint another leader so that we may go back to Egypt. In Philippians chapter 3, Paul is calling them dogs. Because we Gentiles, we were considered like dogs. Remember the Canaanite woman, Jesus told her that we can't give the bread things who are sent to the dogs. Gentiles were considered like a stranger to God the things. To God the covenant, and they were called dogs. I want to emphasize that those dogs, they are relying upon the flesh. They found the glory in the flesh. The last of the flesh, the last of the eyes, and the pride of life. They found the glory in the achievement in the studies, in the degrees, the diploma, and uh, everything is about the flesh. And uh, when you read that Philippians chapter 3, uh, from verse 18 
up to 19, you will understand that uh, all the man, all the focus are on the things of this world. The God is the belly. But uh, the distraction is awaiting for them. There are people who are confusing God to people. They are living in sins. They went back to the former, to the sinful life. And the people of God are wondering, are they Christian or not? They are not a Christian. There are many in the churches, but they are not a Christian. And uh, those people that are not different from those in John 6, from verse 25, you go down, who followed Jesus to the other side of the lake. And Jesus told them, you are following me not because a miracle has been performed to bring you to repentance. No, because you ate and you are full. While the kingdom of God is not drinking and eating, is God righteousness, is peace and the joy in the Holy Spirit. That is the kingdom of God. Glory to the Lamb. Those people, they are in the church. They are not coming for the word. And the Jesus told them, work for the bread that lasts eternal life. Not for the bread, the normal bread, the normal meat. You can eat it today and tomorrow it will go to the restroom, the, the toilet. Those people, they are not God people. But they are pretending to be God people is where we are talking about falsehood. Falsehood. They are pretending, they are acting religious. They are hypocrite liars. First Timothy chapter 4 verse 2 and 4. Is talking about those hypocrite liars, those ministers of the devil. In 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1 up to 4, and verse 12 up to 15. And the Paul is worried about the church. He said, I wonder, so that the devil may seduce you as he did with Adam in the garden. Because the devil came with another gospel. Is it true if you can eat the fruit in the middle of the garden of knowledge of evil and you will die? The Bible says those people are always opposing God. As the father, the devil is opposing God. As the two magicians of Pharaoh opposes Moses, they are always opposing the truth. And the devil is the father. They are liars. The devil is the, the, the father because he lied from the beginning. He told Eve, if you eat, you will not die. Your eyes will be open and you will be like God. While they were already created in God image and God likeness. But the devil is attacking always our identity in Christ Jesus. Paul is worried about the last church to be seduced by another gospel. It's what is happening. With uh, false teachers, false pastors, false brothers and their sisters. When you are talking about falsehood, the people are always looking at the pulpit. No. In the congreg congregation, witches and the wizards are there. Agents of Inyanga in the Sangoma, agents of the devil are there. They are also teaching pernicious things because they want to make their own disciples out of the church. And the Paul in Act 20, 28 up to 31, when uh, he's giving the farewell to the elder of 
If it's a